Hello, welcome to Plus Equal. Today we'll go through karting micro game in Unity. And to get started, we need to download the project. So in Unity Hub, Learning tab, we go to karting micro game and download the project. Uh, it's already downloaded. We can create a new project. Let's put new here on top to the version 2019. And down here we should have, it's loading, should have our karting micro game. It's here. Uh, press here install because this is not really download, it's just install, we just downloaded it before. Let's put here karting micro game. Select a location. Here it's already done. Okay, it's done. Make sure you have that selected and create. And now this can take some time as well, because it's the first time we are opening the project. Okay, the project finally is loaded. And we can start the tutorials. So press the button to start tutorials. And I don't know why this always open up the Unity, not expanded. And the first thing they tell us to do is press start to begin and enter play mode. Like always micro games want us to try it. Try them out before we start editing stuff. Okay. And I suppose this is it. And the first thing I noticed is that the card is really slow, so I'm predicting that we will change that right now. Okay, they are showing us the hierarchy window right here, where we have our game objects. Let's press next. Select the card classic player. Boom, it's done. Now we have the inspector window right here, and we can press next. And here we have base stats, and if we press the arrow, we have the top speed, like I just predicted. I <laughs> that was really easy to predict actually. And we can change the top speed to something like uh, I'll put one zero there and try it out. Next, and enter play mode again. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Oh my! <laughs> okay, this is actually a lot faster than that they expected. And it, we just crashed. <laughs> so, we can change the value later to something like 50. Uh, but for now, let's open up the tutorial of the editor UI. Uh, let's save our changes. Let's put the window full screen again. And start to begin. Again, the hierarchy and the scene. We have been doing this in the other two micro games that we already completed, usually they always introduce us to, to this and select the end tool and now we can pan around if we move the mouse pressing the, the left mouse click left mouse button and, the, and if we drag we are panning around let's put next, if you press alt we can orbit through the scene as well and we can zoom in and zoom out, uh, that's this is the, the most common stuff that we'll find in most of the software, so you should be used to this by now. Here we have the project window, we have our, our, all our files and stuff, and now we can go to tutorial edit colors. Oh, this one also have a tutorial to edit colors, like the first person shooter. So let's press start, let's select the card classic player. And if, if we don't know where the card is, they are telling us to press F. So I'm here and I don't, I'm not, I, I can't see the card here in the scene, right? If you press F on your keyboard, this will focus on the card. And they are telling us to select the card body. Card body is right here. You can see that the color is red, just like this material. If you press uh, in the material, this will open up all of the material properties. And we want to change the albedo color. Yeah, you can see here that the albedo color is the red and that's what uh, gives us this final result. So if we, we can change this to something like uh, blue for example. 
and quitting. And you can see right here that the material now is blue. So let's put next and enter play mode to try this out. And it's blue. Let's press exit here. And next tutorial is to add a jump. So we can go into this tutorial. And they are talking about prefabs. Let's press start. And we have here, this is, this is our prefabs. We have a jump ramp. So we press this. And we can actually place it. I'll put it here before we, we reach the final line. Now with the move tool, I might move my jump around. But actually I want it to be right there. I think it's press F to focus on the ramp. Alt and see if it's OK. We might want to put it a little bit down. So we make sure that the player climb on top of it. And let's input next. Uh, we also have the rotate and scale. OK, uh, what you can do is put it here just for the people that go on this side of the track. Put it close to the wall. Just like that. And we can change its rotation if we want. We can change its scale. But uh, I think it's okay for now. So let's input next. And text, test your jump. Okay, but for that, let me just go here again. And change this to half 50. And now input next. And we reach the tutorial 5 to build and publish. I can go there and save my changes. But this is really the same as the previous video, so I, this time I will not really go into details about the publishing. So I think I will quit here, because we already did this in the, in the previous video, in the first person shooter. So I think I, I will pass it this time. And by quitting here, you still have the villain publish here if you want. So I will just try my level out. There we go. And this speed is pretty good. We have a jump here. And we are flying. What? Okay, this was pretty crazy jump. But we win. So that's what counts really. So let's exit play mode. And this is it for this tutorial. This was pretty fast. So anyway. You guys have here a nice prototype to test uh, a karting racing game. We still have one micro game to go. I think it's a platform game. So my, we might run into that later. Thank you a lot for watching and I will see you there. Stay safe.